Hi, I'm Rachel Barton Pine. Welcome to Family Fridays with RBP. September 11th is always a day of remembrance for us. And I thought, what better way to celebrate America than with one of our most unique and wonderful art forms, traditional fiddling. So I'm gonna play for you four classical compositions by three different composers, each of which is inspired in different ways by traditional American fiddling. The first composer is Noel de Costa. Depending on where you're looking, you might hear him described as an American composer or uh, perhaps a Caribbean composer or an African composer. And this is because he was born in Nigeria to parents of Jamaican descent. Yes, that's correct. But then he made his career here in the United States. So for today's purposes, we'll definitely be focusing on his American spirit because this particular piece is a five movement unaccompanied work entitled a set of dance tunes for solo violin based on American fiddle tunes. I'll be playing the first and last movements. The first one is called Walk Around Brudder Bones and the last one is called New Orleans Clog Blues. This suite was written in 1978 I first got the manuscript for it in the 1990s, and it sat around in my library for almost a couple of decades, um, just because the handwriting was not quite legible enough with the piece being so complex that I could just read it off of the manuscript. So I could tell it was a cool piece, but I couldn't quite practice it until finally I had the opportunity to get it entered into the computer, and it turned out to be even better than I had hoped, and it's become one of my favorites, as you will see. So here are two movements from his set of dance tunes based on American fiddle tunes by Noel da Costa.
Two movements by Noel de Costa. And now on to a couple of living composers, very dear friends of mine, Daryl Enger and David Wallace, two of the most fun guys you can ever hang around with and absolutely amazing fiddlers. You definitely have to check out each of their own playing wherever you can find it on the internet, YouTube and so on. Um, the first is going to be by Daryl. It's actually alliteratively called Rachel's Rag. I mean, how can you resist? <laughs> but it is uh, inspired by ragtime style, but in Daryl's kind of modern fusion-y sort of way. He's really one of the top um, bluegrass fusion players, or whatever you would call that, out there genre. Um, he's really just got his own unique style, plus a great sense of humor, which also comes through in this music. And then after that, I'm gonna play a piece by David Wallace. Um, but I'll tell you more about that in a sec. So here is Rachel's Rag from American Partita No. 1 by Daryl Anger.
by Daryl Anger. Before I play my final piece, I wanted to invite you to a special concert I'm doing in two days. This Sunday, I'm gonna be playing a longer recital, and it's being co-presented by three different concert organizations from Seattle, Washington, Albuquerque, New Mexico, and Tulsa, Oklahoma. Kind of like magic that could only happen over the internet. It will be a ticketed concert, and I know we're used to watching concerts these days streaming for free all the time, but it's so important to support concert organizations so that they can continue to exist um, and are there for us when we can go back to in-person concerts. I'm going to be playing a lot of stuff just like you're hearing today. Not any of the same pieces, totally different pieces, but cool stuff from Bach to Mark O'Connor, lots of different pieces by black composers that are really awesome. And it's going to be, uh, again, a celebration of American fiddling, actually tracing the evolution of American fiddling um, and its intersection um, with classical music through the centuries. So I hope you'll be able to join me on Sunday. All the information is on my website um, on the tour dates page, which is now, of course, the virtual tour dates. So I'm going to wrap up with a um, piece by David Wallace. This is the final movement of an, a five-movement unaccompanied suite that he wrote for me called um, Personas. Each movement um, is a portrait, a musical portrait, a of a different character from the Bible, and I'll actually be playing his Nahum movement and his Ruth movement on further episodes of this series later on in the year, but today I'm going to play the fifth movement, which is entitled John of Zebedee, and it's actually a set of variations on a tune you might recognize.
right that was variations on um, I'll fly away called John son of Zebedee by David Wallace from his personas suite next week on family Fridays I'll be doing a whole program devoted to variations various ways that composers have approached the variation from Bach with his B minor Sarabande and it's a double to Paganini's famous 24th caprice and even a Scottish Pibrach see you there